Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of RSK Talk. In this podcast, I'm going to take a deep look into Rootstock, a sidechain of Bitcoin attempting to bring all the innovation that has been done on smart contract platforms to Bitcoin, the most important asset that has ever been discovered by mankind. Okay, so in this first episode, we're going to take a brief overview of the RSK ecosystem, how it works and why I believe it is the most important thing being developed today other than Bitcoin itself. All right, so when Bitcoin was first created, the first ever fully working digital cryptocurrency, this is something that today we are not even aware of how important it actually is for everyone to have finally peer-to-peer money that is both permissionless and trustless. This means that anyone can use it and like you don't need to ask permission to be a part of the network and you don't need to trust any single individual in the network. But you can trust the network itself because the incentives are so that people who work against the network are severely penalized. And if you work within the rules and for the network, then you get access to this wonderful, wonderful thing that is peer-to-peer money that you can send. I can send the money that I make here in Australia to my family in Argentina almost instantly and extremely cheaply. It's a banking system without banks. It's really incredible. We have not yet fully appreciated how groundbreaking this is. So, this was Bitcoin. When Bitcoin was first created, it brought all this excitement and it created a new space, the space of cryptocurrencies. Now, there were some people back then that thought, you know, peer-to-peer money Decentralized money with no government is incredible, but it's not the end of the technological revolution. There's so much more things you can do. And this is when we get the first big split with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Because the Ethereum crowd thought, you know, this is this is code. So what if we added more complexity to the code that you can write on the blockchain? And, you know, what if we can add smart contracts? What if we can add self-executing code so that then we don't only get peer-to-peer decentralized money, but we can get a fully working decentralized financial system where we can do lending and borrowing, we can trade digital assets with no intermediary, and we can do all sorts of things. And this is a very important moment in the history of crypto because the Bitcoin crowd was very adamant in keeping the code as simple as possible to ensure maximum decentralization, security, the ability for the blockchain to be audited by nodes. If you keep the information in the blockchain very, very low, then you don't need a powerful computer to run a node and audit the blockchain, which, of course, the more nodes you have, the more secure your ecosystem can be. So the Bitcoin crowd was very, very, very focused on making the system as secure as possible. The Ethereum people wanted to test and innovate and, as they put it, move fast and break things. So that's why we have two different blockchains. That's why we have Bitcoin for one side and we have Ethereum on the other, doing separate things. Now, it is undeniable at this stage in in time that there has been a lot of innovation being done on Ethereum. We've seen the birth of DeFi, we've seen how NFTs have completely taken over the world, now we're seeing the emergence of stuff like the Metaverse and Play to Earn, all sorts of incredible stuff being built. So now, Here is where RSK comes in. RSK is short for rootstock, and it's its own separate blockchain, right? So we have Bitcoin, 
we have Ethereum, and we have RSK. And RSK sits somewhere in the middle of both of them. It's a way to bridge both worlds, to make everything that Ethereum is doing available in the Bitcoin ecosystem. To me, that is the most revolutionary thing happening at the moment, because Bitcoin is the most important asset there can ever be. There is no other digital currency that will ever be able to overtake Bitcoin and what it's attempting to do to free mankind, to free the economic system, to bank all the unbanked in the world and to give us true ownership of our assets. But Bitcoin cannot do all the stuff that Ethereum can do. And if we actually want a truly decentralized financial system, then we need a way to bridge and bring all the stuff being developed in Ethereum, but to do it on Bitcoin. It's very important that we do it on Bitcoin. There are many differences between Bitcoin and Ethereum, which we will talk on other videos. So it's very important that we can actually bring all this innovation to, to Bitcoin itself. So here comes RSK. And the unique thing of RSK is that you know that in all blockchains, you need to pay a small fee every time you do a transaction. RSK is no different. In Bitcoin, you pay your transactions with Bitcoin. In Ethereum, you pay your transactions with Ether. And in RSK, you pay your transactions with RBTC. Okay, so it's not literally Bitcoin because you, you cannot move Bitcoin outside of its main chain. That is not possible. But RSK developed a system called the PowPeg, which basically what you do is you lock a certain amount of Bitcoins on the main Bitcoin chain and it automatically releases the same amount of RBTC on the RSK blockchain. So all the RBTC in rootstock in RSK is always collateralized one to one ratio to Bitcoin. And whenever you need, you can change from BTC to RBTC and from RBTC to BTC. So that is a, it's like a highway. So you can imagine, you can imagine the Bitcoin main chain as your vault. That is where your coins are the most secure and it is the most secure and stable way to keep your coins anywhere in the world. But they don't have all the, the utility that smart contracts and DeFi platforms offer. So you can use both Bitcoin and RSK and when you want to keep your coins safer, you can put them in the Bitcoin blockchain. And when you want to do interesting things like borrowing, lending, or you want to try to get yield on your Bitcoin, then you can move some of it into RSK. You do what you need to do, and then you can bring them back. So in a way, RSK and Bitcoin are symbiotic and they work together to become both of them better. So the RBTC that you get when you lock your Bitcoins and you get them in the RSK blockchain, they are the same in terms of price as the actual Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes up, your RBTC is going to go up. If Bitcoin goes down in value, your RBTC is going to go down in, in value. So it's pretty much like having Bitcoin on a separate chain that has all this smart contract functionality. So they're very, very intertwined. Now, the other thing that makes them almost the same blockchain, even though they're different, and they, but they work together very well, is that unlike Ethereum, where they had, they had to build their own mining infrastructure and all the other blockchains that use smart contracts, they all have their own mining infrastructure. So Ethereum has their own, Solana has their own, Binance, Cardano, all of them, they all have their own infrastructure. RSK, instead of developing their own, because it is a project that is designed to help Bitcoin become better, stronger, more utility, more adoption, instead of creating their own mining infrastructure, what they do is something that is called merged mining. And this is a very important thing. We're going to see it in more detail in future podcasts. But for you to understand, simply put, if you are a Bitcoin miner, you now have the chance to mine both Bitcoin and RSK at the same time with no extra cost. You don't need a more powerful miner. You can just toggle it on or off. So basically, for the Bitcoin miners, this is a whole new revenue stream, okay? So in the beginning, 
you could only make money by mining Bitcoin. Now you can buy mine both Bitcoin and RSK and get paid by both networks. So every time you do anything on RSK, you have to pay a small fee and most of the fees end up in the Bitcoin miners' pockets. And this is wonderful in many ways. First of all, it automatically gives RSK access to the strongest mining network in the entire world, second to none. No other network is even close to the power that the Bitcoin network has. So out of the gate, RSK has an immense amount of security due to the, just the sheer large number that the Bitcoin miners have. The other really interesting thing is that because it pays the Bitcoin miners in Bitcoin and makes their, their business more profitable, that means that there is a further incentive for miners to continue to reinvest and put more miners to work on the network. And we know that if you put more miners, then you further decentralize and make the network stronger, harder to attack, to hack, to manipulate. This means that by using RSK, you're actually making the Bitcoin main chain better, stronger, and you give Bitcoiners more stuff to do with their Bitcoin. And you give developers the chance of bringing all this wonderful innovation to Bitcoin. I think this is incredible. I think this is something that in the future, especially with today's market conditions where things we're getting to see in real time what project is built on solid ground and which ones are built on sand. And if you think about that, then it is very much obvious that Bitcoin is the most solid ground you can ever find. So I expect the projects built on RSK on Bitcoin will endure, whereas the other blockchains, which are not as robust, will be much more flaky and we'll see a lot more of, you know, high rises and heavy drops. Whereas it is my belief that on RSK we can see more long sustained growth. And if we want to achieve a decentralized, trustless, permissionless future, then we need to build things on Bitcoin. There are a lot of projects that are trying to do something similar to what RSK is doing, uh, what is called the layer two ecosystem for Bitcoin. I've taken a look at Stacks, uh, Liquid, even the Lightning Network is doing ama amazing things. However, looking at all of it, to me personally, I think RSK is the most exciting thing happening. RSK is also, uh, it's called EVM compatible. EVM is the Ethereum virtual machine. And this basically means that almost every code that is being deployed on Ethereum could be very easily ported and copied and pasted on RSK. So pretty much everything that Ethereum is doing, RSK could do, and it can do it on Bitcoin while helping make the Bitcoin main chain stronger. This is something that I don't think any other project is doing. And it is why I am so interested, bullish and excited about what has been done here. And the objective of my podcast is to bring you the, the news, the developments, the information about all the different projects that have been built. I am very lucky that I get to be a, a contributor on some of them some of those projects and I get to help them with creating content and communication. So yeah, just stay in tune and I'll bring you more of this, all that's happening in this wonderful space. And I hope that together we get to build an amazing future on Bitcoin. Anyway, that's it for our first episode. I hope you, you enjoy that. I hope I didn't rumble too much and I also hope that by doing more of this I'll get better and better and the ecosystem also keep, keeps growing and growing. So I think we're going to have a very exciting time ahead of us. Thank you for listening. Have an amazing day and I'll see you all in the next one.